Video number three where I'm going to be covering Nutrition 101. This is probably going to be one of my longest videos because uh, Nutrition covers such a broad aspect of things and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cover kind of the hierarchy of things that I want you to not necessarily get out of your life but I want you to kind of keep conscious of it okay so what I wanted you guys to actually do is I'm actually gonna set up some PDFs that you can download um, things you should eat things you shouldn't eat a uh, 10 day actual diet that you can do that will accelerate some weight loss you might be able to lose four to seven pounds within 10 days okay and then I'm also gonna add some meal exchange list so a list of proteins uh, healthy proteins healthy carbs healthy fats okay I'm gonna list all those things in those PDFs so make sure to look out for those PDFs and download them all put them up to your fridge and look at them every morning okay but in this video specifically I want to cover some of the strategies that you're gonna use and some of the things to be conscious about okay so this is called nutrition 101 right and this is probably gonna have to be redone because this is where I really really have a difficult time teaching okay so we're gonna go with it number one calories matter the most now you probably don't understand what I mean by that but calories do matter the most over pretty much anything you do it's a law of thermodynamics which states that energy in basically energy out however it is not that easy okay but that's a good base to stand on okay so be conscious of some calories you don't have to count them but be conscious of things that have high calories such as um, pizza has high calories uh, chocolates have high calories anything that pretty much has to do with fats bacon has high calories things like that have high calories okay so be conscientious of what you're eating with those things number two eat your protein now I see this a lot women don't eat a lot of protein because they think that if they eat protein they're gonna get all big and bulky like us uh, bodybuilder guys right but in fact it's a myth because you need to eat protein because it's a structural component of your body of your bones it helps you grow it helps you catalyze it helps you burn more fat while you sleep while you just relax protein is one of those things that will accelerate your weight loss like immediately if you're not eating enough right now so proteins are very very important not just for us bodybuilder guys but for you as well eat fiber foods okay now this is pretty important because I see a lot of people nowadays when you go out to eat they make sure that they do not put fiber into their diet into their stuff because they want to stack it with the cheapest stuff fiber is not cheap when it comes to uh, restaurants okay so they probably won't put much fiber in anything but what they do is they structurally make it modify it to where you get full you get full but you have to eat a lot more of that stuff and where that comes into play is this, uh, the trans fatty acids what they put in it to actually help you get fuller with that stuff okay and they put a lot of dough and all that good stuff so anyways in that PDF that you guys are gonna download you will see a lot of the things that you can be eating like a uh, fiber with a fiber bar some fiber cereal very good um, an apple is very good bananas are good anything green is very good okay if you get any greens and you eat that on any occasion you're gonna be okay all right so make sure you get your fiber foods make sure it's your protein packs make sure you understand kind of the simplistic model of calories okay now and like I said you don't have to count them you just have to look at them kind of understand and, and think to yourself if I was you know set your goal like we did on the last video if you were let's say for example you you're 145 and you said okay well if I'm 125 would I be eating this right now when I'm 125 and if you're looking at pizza and you're like okay me as 145 would eat this but me as 125 would I eat this now that's a question you gotta ask yourself that's a question that I ask myself when I want to get really in good shape I'll ask those questions when I'm looking at an Oreo cookie and I want to eat it. Uh, healthy and not healthy fats. Okay, so I want to kind of uh, explain a little bit about healthy and non healthy fats. So, healthy fats are unsaturated fats, specifically polyunsaturated fats, where you can find them in fish oils or any fish products. Saturated fats are possibly not good. Those are the things that are um, solid at room temperature, like butter, right? Things like that you should probably stay away from. 
And then the really, really kill, the killer key things is that you want to stay away from is this trans fatty acids. Now, a trans fatty acid is basically a genetically modified substance that they put together. They put back together and they make it a new substance so it can hold more shelf life on the at their store. So those are usually like a box dinner. They'll have high trans fatty acids. Stick away from those things because those will lead to lower body belly fat and low back fat and butt fat and hip fat. That's where your stubborn fat storages are going to be because of those trans fatty acids and those saturated fats. Okay. So if you want to cut some stuff out right now, cut off the box dinners and cut off uh, a lot of the, f the saturated fats in your diet right now. And I guarantee it will change your weight loss and it will change your body the way it looks. Drink your water. This is very important because water is about 73% of our body. I, I think that's about right. And it's going to help you catalyze a lot of the, the metabolism in your body. So I've actually seen that it increases your metabolism by about 3% if you drink some cold water in the morning. Now you can test it for yourself, how you feel. Of course, when you feel hydrated, you feel, you're eating your greens, you're going to feel so much better. You're going to have so much more energy because you're not going to be drained with all that the toxins that are coming into the box dinners and and all the candies and stuff okay so number six is cut excess excessive calories at every opportunity now what do I mean by that let's say for example you're going to a restaurant let's say you're going to chick-fil-a right and you go and you get a number one which is probably a chicken sandwich then you get the fries and you get the drink where can you cut calories the fastest now if you're you know thinking like that then you can you can make an instant immediate like kind of a realization that you can actually cut calories right at the drink at the drink level you can still enjoy the fries and the, the burger but you don't have to drink the high calorie drink which is one of the things I always recommend is cut your calories at your drinks don't drink uh, high calorie drinks don't be drinking Powerades you don't need Powerades I promise you don't need Powerades just drink your water you'll be fine Okay, you're not doing hardcore exercise and stuff like that, that you need Powerades. Don't get Powerades. They're super high in sugar. If you need to, get the Powerade Zero or whatever it is that doesn't have any calories, okay? So make sure you try to cut your calories at any opportunity. So let's say, for example, you go out to Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm not saying that I'm a saint and I don't go out to eat. Of course I like to eat out. Of course I like to eat junk food. Of course I love that. I have a sweet tooth. But I cut calories where I need to, okay? So... Let's say I go to Buffalo Wild Wings. I get the, I don't know, the, I like the uh, naked tenders with the Parmesan garlic sauce, okay? And then I like ranch. And I still get the fries. But where I cut my calories is I don't get the ranch. And I'll just use one dipping sauce of the parmesan garlic sauce okay so at that point at least I saved myself 140 calories okay so every opportunity you can try to look in ways that you can actually cut some calories here and there okay and it would transform your life what you do today will transform your tomorrow so just remember that number seven is one of those things that uh, I see a lot a lot of times and it's it's one of those things that we really subtly don't see and we ask ourselves well I'm barely eating anything, Daniel, and I'm still gaining weight. Have you ever asked yourself that question? Well, I got the answer for you, and you're probably not going to like it. It's called the BLTs, right? Avoid the BLTs. You can't see it. Let me see if you can. Okay. Attempt to avoid the BLTs. Now, what are the BLTs? Well, the BLTs are the bites, the licks, and the taste. You know what I'm talking about. When you buy your groceries and you get your uh, chips and you bring them to the front seat with you and you buckle them up and then you open them up and start nibbling at them, just getting the one, two, three, four, eventually that's half the bag done. Or you just get a, a tub of ice cream and you're just like, you know what, I'm just going to sweep the top off. I'm going to get the top off and make it real nice and smooth. But then you see a little edge on it that you want to take off as well. Then you go ahead and go on. And by the time you know it, you got, you've eaten half the tub of ice cream. Those are things you want to be conscientious about, okay? And let's say, for example, you, you have some food on the table. And you just come by and pick at it every now and then, right? You come into the kitchen, you look at the fridge, 
You open the fridge, nothing's in there that you want. You go back to your room, you come back, you see in the fridge, nothing's there that you want, but you have something on the table every single time. You have a little piece of candy, grab a little piece of candy. It won't affect you then, right? Wrong. This is one of the reasons why you're gaining weight and you don't think so. So, number seven is attempt to avoid your BLTs. All right, so thank you so much for coming into this video. I know I, I jam-packed you with content and I'm probably gonna throw out so much more content in these PDFs. And if you have the time to take to read through these things and implement what I'm telling you, you're gonna see the results without a doubt, okay? So I'm gonna give you that 10-day diet I'm gonna give you the meal exchanges. I'm gonna show you uh, exactly how to measure your foods without weighing them. And then I'm gonna show you like foods, proteins, carbs, fats, and, and so on that are healthy for you, okay? So look out for those PDFs and I wanna give you two action steps to do that you should be doing already. Number one is put your junk food, put your box dinners, put them in the back, okay? Make sure you put them in where it's hard to reach you need to put your box dinners, you put your, you, all your unhealthy food, put it in hard to reach spaces so that you do not have easy access to them. It's just like anything in life, if you have a harder time getting to them, chances are you're gonna, do, you're gonna get rid of that habit or you're gonna bring it to the front, right? You're gonna find a way to bring that unhealthy food to the front. So what I'm telling you to do is put it at, le at, le at minimum, put it in a difficult place to get, okay? It's like putting the jar, the jar of cookies high and up away from the kids so that they don't get cookies every, mo every moment, right? So do the same thing to yourself. Trust me, it's gonna save you, it's gonna help you, and it's gonna be an action step that you can take right now, it's so simple. And number one, I mean the second action step is I want you to always try to keep one healthy thing with you, whether it be a low fat Greek yogurt, or it be an apple, banana, with a little bit of peanut butter, or something to that extent. Try not to get protein bars. Try not to get the protein bars. I'm telling you right now, protein bars are the devil. So, and then number three is make sure you download those PDFs I was talking about, those, the healthy recipes, the how to measure your foods without having to weigh them, the meal exchanges of all the proteins, fats, and carbs, and all the good eating, uh, eating things, and then the 10 day diet where you guys can actually lose up to four to seven pounds Okay, so thank you so much for watching my video.